God's judgments in the land, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Luke 21, 26. Oh, that God's people had a sense of the impending destruction of thousands of cities now almost given to idolatry. Not long ago, a very impressive scene passed before me. I saw an immense ball of fire falling among some beautiful mansions, causing their instant destruction. I heard someone say, We knew that the judgments of God were coming upon the earth, but we did not know that they would come so soon. Others said, You knew. Why then did you not tell us? We did not know. On every side I heard such words spoken. Soon grievous troubles will rise among the nations, trouble that will not cease until Jesus comes. As never before, we need to press together, serving him who has prepared his throne in the heavens and whose kingdom ruleth over all. God has not forsaken his people, and our strength lies in not forsaking him. The judgments of God are in the land. The wars and rumors of wars, the destruction by fire and flood, say clearly that the time of trouble, which is to increase until the end, is very near at hand. We have no time to lose. The world is stirred with a spirit of war. The prophecies of the eleventh of Daniel have almost reached their final fulfillment. Last Friday morning, just before I awoke, a very impressive scene was presented before me. I seemed to awake from sleep, but was not in my home. From the windows I could behold a terrible conflagration. Great balls of fire were falling upon houses, and from these balls fiery arrows were flying in every direction. It was impossible to check the fires that were kindled, and many places were being destroyed. The terror of the people was indescribable. Strictly will the cities of the nations be dealt with, and yet they will not be visited in the extreme of God's indignation, because some souls will yet break away from the delusions of the enemy and will repent and be converted, while the mass will be treasuring up wrath against the day of wrath. 